I wanted to uh, show you uh, the uh, breathing process that we use for uh, making a connection to the uh, imagery world. And uh, <clears throat> in fact, the whole technique uh, of doing uh, imagery practice. And so it's, it's three parts. There's a posture, breathing, and what you do with your eyes. So the posture is one of verticality. You sit up straight, arms in the arms of the chair, feet flat on the floor, nothing crossed. If you don't have an arm with a uh, chair with arms, put your hands uh, on your lap, uh, flat with your palms down. <clears throat> Close your eyes so that you blocked out external distractions, and you can turn. And then you're turning your senses inward, turning your visual sense inside, and then you breathe. And the breathing is done in a certain way to open the channel of imagination to you uh, and to, at the same time, uh, get rid of the inner waste products and, uh, and breathe them out, particularly the chronic stress hormone and the carbon dioxide. So the uh, whole process is simply this. Notice that I breathe out longer and slower than my breathing in. I breathe out through the mouth, I breathe in through the nose. Uh, as you'll find, in, for example, in the uh, Encyclopedia of Mental Imagery, you uh, will discover that in, throughout the course of this uh, vast number of exercises, that breathing is uh, a common accom accompaniment, because obviously the breathing makes us quiet, calm, peaceful, relaxed, centered, and focused and getting rid of the waste products. And in doing so, uh, we want to, and will indicate, to breathe out a certain number of times. And the uh, number of times will be uh, indi indicated by the number plus an X, which means times. There are icons to help you along to uh, familiarize yourself with the whole notion of closing your eyes, breathing out, uh, and opening your eyes at the end of the exercise and so on. So it's done simply this way, three times. And then I let the breathing take care of itself. I go and do the imagery exercise. However I breathe, I breathe. If I want to continue doing that kind of breathing, I do that. It doesn't matter. I'm not diverted by the way the breathing is going. I'm only doing that to get myself into a quiet space for a moment. That's all there is. At the end of each exercise, as indicated in the book, as you'll see, you breathe out one time before opening your eyes. So the transition is made easier from this inner process that you're doing to coming back into the everyday waking world. So at the end of the exercise, simply that. And I think that uh, it's uh, very important to uh, remember <clears throat> the breathing is only done to become quiet. It's only done at the end to help the transition from inside to outside. The main job you have is the imagery process itself. So there, uh, the respiratory cycles are natural. Only we are reversing our relationship to them. Usually we are always thinking about that way, and we're reversing it simply to